Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to be here with this Alaskan king crab. Um, I've been waiting. It's always sold out when I try to get it. And I finally got me one. And um, just re really excited to taste it. And, but before we begin, to bless the food. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. Please bless it. They may nourish and strengthen it. Our bodies, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Just eat with me and let's enjoy. Today is Labor Day. So this video is dedicated to all the hard workers out there who bring it, who grind every single minute of the day. This video is for you. Um, here's a toast to you. I have also here otai. Uh, this is watermelon otai, which is a um, Tongan beverage. Uh, Polynesians all, uh, I think, have their own version of it, but this is um, my version. Uh, this is watermelon, and um, I have pineapple in there and coconut. And uh, just to cream it up, I add uh, half and half, and uh, coconut milk. Uh, right here I have Bee Love sauce. And Bee Love Smackalicious sauce. And so, let's go ahead and begin. Um, let's start with this guy. Really, how huge that Alaskan king crab. It is very sharp. So how are you all doing today? Oh, I hope you're all doing great, wherever you're watching from. I'm sorry about the noise in the background. Uh, have my fan running. So mm. Mm, mm, mm. I think let me swap this too because I'm right-handed look at that onion mm -mm. that is so so delicious Get some lemon on there. Mm -mm -mm. That is so yummy. Mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. That is so, oh, so, Mmm, 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 mmm. It's a very sharp. So, um, I hope you're enjoying your holiday weekend. Um, I start my three day weekend, a three, three day holiday, uh, I started today and, uh, And I'm so real. I'm so excited because um, take a little break from work and just enjoy, you know, my family. I'll be meeting up with my the rest of the family today at my sister's house, and uh, we're gonna have barbecue and. Just um, really excited to see them, them all, and hang out. Mm. That is so, oh boy, it's so tender and so tender, so flavorful.
Check a little drink. Cheers. So refreshing. Let's keep going. Look at that. This is for you, my friends. Look at that. So thick. Mm. 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 So I want to just want to talk about when I first started working. My parents um, are were immigrants from Tonga, and they moved here in the 1960s, going to school at BYU, Hawaii, and when they met, so. They're just such hardworking people. My parents were such hard workers and which uh, instilled a lot of that in me. And um, I started working at the age of 15 years old. And I remember me and my brother My brother and I, we, uh, I worked at, uh, we worked at this newspaper clipping, we, newspaper place, and, and what we did was we clipped um, articles for this business. And um, this was in Salt Lake City, Utah. that mm -hmm. look at that I just cannot describe flavorful, tender this crab, king crab is.
And getting back to my story, when we were, so we, I remember clipping newspapers for this company and I got paid, I think $5 and somewhat change uh, an hour. And that started my career, that started my um, experience of working, getting a job and um, helping my parents. Um, it was a, it was an exciting experience. Uh, being only 15 and, and, uh, but and so that was my first job when I was 15 years old. And um, working at Whataburger, I was I was sixteen. Mm, no, I was seventeen when I worked at Whataburger. That was my senior year in high school, and yeah, worked there. And then my next job was when I was um, in my 20s. I was like 23 or 24. And I, uh, 20, actually 22, started working at American Eagle as a flight attendant. At that time, weight mattered, and so for hiring. And so my friend um, told, um, when I went to apply, I needed to lose weight. And so my friend told me, suggested that um, I go on a cantaloupe diet. I don't know if you've gone on a cantaloupe diet or eaten cantaloupe before, but it's like, like it helps you digest. Like, uh, and so, um, that was interesting. So I, I went on a cantaloupe diet and lost the pounds that I needed to. And so they hired me um, as a flight attendant for American Eagle Airlines. And after, uh, and my dad, my dad worked for American Eagle too, as a ramper. He was a ramper. And so so when he would uh, load the bags on my airplane, I would, I would go outside and help him load the, the bags on the plane I was uh, working. And after, um, my dad ended up having a heart attack on, he, he ended up having a heart attack and uh, 
that um, after he passed away, I became very, very sad and depressed working at Eagle. Um, I didn't have my dad there. I didn't. What my dad would do was every time my, my plane flew in, he would put a chair out. And after I go for like a three or four day trip, he would, when I come home, uh, my, prayer, my plane was la landed. I look over, coming out, um, and my, my dad is sitting there just waiting for me to arrive. And that was unforgettable. I'll never forget that. After he passed away, I went on. I decided to leave American Eagle and get on with uh, Hawaiian Airlines. So I became a flight attendant for Hawaiian Airlines. And when I worked over there, um, it was great. It was a, a great, great experience. Got to see a lot of the different islands of Hawaii and worked there for a couple of years and then decided to come back to Texas. Got on with, uh, with Amer American Eagle again as a gate agent. And after working for them for a couple of years, I got on with American Airlines. And I continue to work for American Airlines right now. I I really enjoy working there. Been working for the airlines um, most of my life for over twenty years, and. I still enjoy it quite a bit. I, I enjoy, uh, I don't travel too much. Like, um, I don't travel too much. I haven't been to, for, for someone who's worked for the airlines for over uh, 20 years, um, I have not been to many places, you know, but I do plan to once I retire and my um, the place my dream vacation uh, I'd like to go to Israel and that's uh, I look forward to that because that's been a dream of mine. It was to is to go to Jerusalem someday. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. Mmm.
So, you hard workers out there, this is your day. This is our day. This holiday is a day to celebrate because um, cheers to those who have been working for years. I want you to see how sharp that is. That is so sharp. Mm. This is the last leg. It looks like in the back. 
put all this meat Pause meat, you guys. So much meat. All this other stuff, uh, I guess it's the lungs I'm gonna do away with. That's what it looks like inside. That's just the back part of it all going to the trash <laughs> and oh my goodness look at the tea look at that take all the meat out there's plenty of meat oh my goodness look at all that meat All going to the trash. I don't. I have no idea how I would eat that. But taking all the meat out of there. All this going to the trash. That's it. Here's the head, teeth. All going to the trash. Mm. Eat here. Otai has um, grated watermelon. That's where you see the chunks of watermelon in there. And um, it's a Tongan favorite. Last one.
Ow. That's so sharp. All that meat. Mm-mm. Oh, that meat.
Last bite. It's just all the little bits. Well, you guys, that is it for me. Hmm. That crab was so delicious. Well worth it. Well, guys, that that was so delicious. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoy your Labor Day and treat yourself to something special because you worked hard for it. Stay blessed and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Five, seven,